bring your sledgehammer to work day. So I'm getting hot water from the house to uh, to water the pigs and to get the trough going out in the field. Um, we definitely need some warm water in this weather because it ain't defrosting outside. Minus six, I think, this morning. And I think it's been the coldest nights in Britain for 10 or 20 years, a, a lot of time anyway. Apparently, it was the coldest night in, in the UK last night since 2010. And in Scotland, the coldest night for 26 years, minus 22.9 degrees C in Braemar in Scotland. That's living with it, uh, not Siberian temperatures. <laughs> so we knew it was cold. Yeah. We knew why our hands were not working this morning. Well, it's another lovely bright morning, but very, very cold and also the wind chill. Uh, the tractor hydraulics uh, the up and down's no problem, but the tilt on the or the spike on the front, which we need to manoeuvre to uh, tip and load bales on, is operated by a cable on the joystick, uh, and it's like freezers. And if you if you just force it off, you'll send like the end off. So I have two options. Sometimes I start the tractor up, shut the windows, and put the heater on. Or if we're in a bit of hurry, uh, Nick very kindly got his uh, heat gun. And that just frees it off, but it is when it's been like that, you know, it's been very, very keen. Well, once we got sorted, we got a bale on and took one up to the Highland cattle on the high ground, and they were waiting because all the there is quite a bit of rough pulling, but the snow had covered it up and also froze as well, so they were desperately pleased to see us. And it's it's vital because you just can't tip the bales off if you tilt one to won't work so it's really good job done. As you see from the terrain this is really only accessible with the four-wheel drive tractor the little buggy won't come because of some very very deep ruts that the old mining uh, people made many years ago so it's definitely four-wheel drive territory and it's just uh, you know it's just on top of the job which was what you need. I like to keep my dad happy and he likes his bales to be very precisely placed in the feeder so as I'm still kind of learning the tricks of the trade um, we had to do a little bit of repositioning for the boss to be satisfied and uh, I think he was. This is our magical winter wonderland landscape. Don't know how many more days it'll stay looking like this for. Um, it might be cold but it certainly is stunning and I feel very blessed to live here. Good morning, it's ten past seven. Friday the, ooh, is it the 12th or the 13th? Friday the 12th of February. And um, not as clear sky today. Still pretty crunchy underfoot. Um, the sky is quite a pretty color. I'll just show you. What I wasn't expecting was a few moments later for the sky to look like this. Absolutely stunning colours that really intensified until the sky looked like it was on fire with this ripples of, of burning red and orange. It was absolutely fantastic and a real treat that lifted the spirits whilst some people probably would have been in bed and missed it all. Checking on the sheep's feed here um, on Friday morning. We always take the pitchfork round with us and fork the hay around to make sure that it's evenly distributed. And we decided we would bring some bales round later. Very, 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 very cold today. As there's no sunshine, I do think it makes a difference. And wondering how many more days it's going to be until it starts to get more mild because I'm sure it will. Spring has got to be on its way. It's Friday afternoon and we're doing some afternoon bale moving and feeding in the sunshine, which is lovely. 
these are just some scenes of us moving the bales you get to see the lovely landscape views in the sunshine and the snow from the tractor cab and if you stay tuned later in the video it's coming up some cooking i am cooking a nice dinner for us all and also some amazing ice sculptures which formed in the cold conditions nearby so please keep watching all the way to the end i really hope that you will enjoy the video and uh, it's quite a varied one this one Some of the questions and comments that we have about the temperatures kind of saying is this a normal winter for you um, our winters do really vary and this one definitely has been a much colder frostier snowier winter than certainly uh, last year was um, i think our winters can just be very varied here in the uk and although the temperatures might not sound overly spectacular if you're not from the uk for us here um, they are quite unusual Really noticed the sheep were so much more reliant on the hay feed that we bring up. I mean, we always make sure this time of year there is hay in the racks and the big bale in the feeder, and that sometimes will go for ooh, a week. But when the uh, ground was covered up, they were getting through a bale about after a couple of days, so uh, it was certainly all hands on deck, and also drinking quite a lot of water because we tend to make the haylage, which is drier. Uh, which is uh, keeps better, uh, nicer to handle, and also I think more we found more suitable for sheep. It does also mean you do have to have the water supply going because they drink quite a lot of water. And with the afternoon feeding round done, Nick and I went off to a local kind of hidden location where we knew that there were some really spectacular icicles and couldn't help but get some photographs and some video of this amazing iced waterfall, which was just so spectacular. We don't often have conditions to create a scene like this very often, so I'm really glad that we got to go and see it. And I thought I've got to share this with my YouTube family. I hope that you will enjoy it and uh, appreciate it too. And a woman's work is never done, so Friday night I was cooking up some treats for us for the weekend. I decided to have a go at making flatbreads, so made the dough in the mixer and then left it to prove by the fire. Haven't actually made anything bread-like for quite a while, so I felt like I was kind of relearning the process again. Um, serving it with some minted hoggart patties, so that's like um, hoggart um, minted sausage meat from the farm, frying those up and then adding a little bit of olive oil, some salt and herbs and garlic to the flatbreads, spreading them out. Um, this was kind of impossible to do whilst filming myself. Um, but I gave them a good spread out, put them on a tray and then just grilled them for a few minutes each side. I think it was about four minutes. Um, they were really tasty. In fact, the second day after I left the other batch to prove overnight, they were even more delicious. And that was our dinner Friday night, the lamb burgers with the flatbreads and lots of like roasted vegetables and stuff. I try and keep our meal times enjoyable and varied and look after the boys. It is Sunday the 14th of February, which is Valentine's Day for some. And it could be the day that our weather starts to thaw out a little bit and see the return of milder conditions. So we'll see. Sunday, it was all systems go trying to get the water moving as the cows on the moor were desperate for water and the trough down near the farm also completely empty nearly apart from chunks of ice so we spent about 20 minutes defrosting the pipe outside to try and get the 
outside water tap flowing, which we did. And then it was a case of filling up the churns for the trough in the field and then filling up the plastic IBC unit, we call it, that goes on the tractor forks to take the water up to the cows on the moor. And then just more general feeding round before settling down for a bit of Sunday relaxation. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video, seeing what we've been getting up to, um, enjoying the cold scenes and how it's made life interesting for us. And I will be bringing you an update of what's been happening next week as soon as I can. And just want to say thank you for your support of my channel and your lovely comments and kind words. It's really nice, especially during the time of lockdown and isolation to know that we've got friends and supporters of Dell Farm all over the world. You are appreciated. So thank you very much from us and we'll bring you some more stuff soon. Take care. Bye.